Hi, Steve Gamash with a special uh, Chef Knives to Go quick look uh, product comparison roundup. Mark asked me to uh, take a look at some of these Nakiris in the group he sent and do some uh, comparison videos. So here is the uh, low and mid price group. We've got the um, Yamashin White Number no. 1 Kurouchi. We have the, um, if I get all my names right here, the Kajihara Blue Number no. 2. Uh, Kurouchi, we have the Stainless Wa uh, Nakiri Tojiro, and then we have the Jozaku Stainless Wa Nakiri as well. And uh, all of these, except for the uh, Kajihara, I did sharpen out of the box. They needed an edge sharpening on them. The um, My favorite between the two of these, and again, I haven't seen all the stainless ones, but between these two knives, uh, the Jaku is a little bit uh, better for me, uh, a little bit lighter, not quite as tall, and I think it went through ingredients a little bit better, again, after both of these were sharpened. To me, it was just a little bit better performer right, out, right after sharpening than the Tojiro. The, um, it's a little bit lighter blade as well. My favorite out of these four is actually the Yamashin. Uh, once I sharpened it, and being white number one carbon, it sharpened much more easily and quickly and with a sharper edge than the stainless models, and... Um, it just took a really nice edge, and once I did that, it uh, really performed quite nicely. It's a little bit substantial blade, a little bit blade forward, weight balance, but uh, feels nice in the hand. And uh, I wish I had a Tanaka and maybe a, um, a Buho to compare, but uh, out of the knives of these four in the low price, I like that one for me. The um, Once you start jumping up price range a little bit, in this range I also included the Goko and the um, Anru Kurouchi. Uh, Suminagashi as well. So the Goko, uh, eat both of these knives performed quite a bit better out of the box than the lower price blades. I mean, by in my mind, a fairly substantial margin. Uh, the Goko pretty much just blew through ingredients really nicely for me, and it's just ready to go. Great sharpness out of the box. Uh, really nice knife. A little bit taller than the Anru uh, Kurouchi Suminagashi. This one's a little bit shorter knife, which I kind of like. It's slightly lighter. I'm not used to real tall Nakiris. I'm more of a Santoku Gyoto guy. Um, but uh, once I, if you check the video out on this, once I cleaned up the edge a little to get the lacquer off of there, this thing just blew through ingredients really nicely. As good or even probably just slightly better than the Goko, at least through onions. And that could be partly due to the slickness of the coating maybe, the lacquer coating, but both pretty close. Um, my personal favorite between the two of these is probably this Anryu. Um, just because of the style that I like, but uh, both of these are quite substantially better performers out of the box, even including the sharpening, than these four. So just think about that if you're looking at uh, low to mid-price Nikiri. So there's the lineup that I had to work with, and there you go.